All right. Some Java libraries you don't like? Just get rid of them. I mean, I'm, I'm running SQL Server on that thing. Oh, God. Have to, man. Uh, Dude, what are you talking about? The Mongo uh, meme is cringing. Yeah. <laughs> how many, I'm sorry, how many enterprises are run on Mongo? Actually, we've got 3,500 right now. Mm. And, run, run and post, SQL? Just run post, dude. You guys For, have to because of... We run Postgres in our cloud-based stuff, but nothing... Yeah, I'm trying to take our We actually, uh, our biggest client now is... Uh, Do we want to mid. stop recording so that we don't have to edit this out later? Oh, yeah. Or... <laughs> it's Waterburger. Thank you, Waterburger. All right. <laughs> We want to move towards the moaning. All right. So um, a moaning sob flows through the still gray sheets, coloring your thoughts with sadness. Whoa. Uh, the sounds flow from a dark two-story house. Uh, can you um, can you align the vicinity on the map? Yeah, it's E3. E3, and death house was E7. E7. So we move towards this way. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go. <laughs> Can you describe this house for us? Set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Before even going in, we just burn it. Yeah. Do you want to move down to that town square? We moved through the town square as, okay. as we left E7. Did we see anything and in town square? We're going to three E3? The, chil- the first time we encountered the children were in, was in that town square. Oh. And they led us back to their house oh, at good. E7. Fuck so we're that. back to the same <laughs> town square. Why didn't we burn it down? We should have. From the outside? There's still time. You can always burn things down. It comes now. back to life. Meta. So the house is yeah. roughly, uh, you know, eighty square feet. Um, it's a Chris Ward's house. Just going straight up, up and down. So Crazy. it's it's a small tenement, um, two story, uh, little little shanty. Uh, it looks to be in somewhat of a disrepair, uh, and. There, the the doors open, and you can just hear sobbing from inside. <laughs> Somebody with some HP. <laughs> yeah. Um, Whoever's got the most life should go forth <laughs> inside of said house. It, it could be Kiara. I will go forth. Mm, by all means, you may go yeah, forth. More power to you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but as I start to walk away from the party, I kind of look off to my to my left, and I say, <clears throat> "Twice, is this safe?" Oh, okay. All right, all right. And I continue forth. <laughs> all right. But as I approach the door, I look over my other shoulder back towards the party, keeping an eye on them. And so my character is just. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much you on Friday while playing Destiny. <laughs> no yeah. problem. Nah, nah, he was in I was a little drunk. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was good. Um, so <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys start walking inside. Um, the area is very point, uh, poorly appointed, uh, so doesn't look like whoever resides in this house is very well off. Um, very old fixtures uh, that, that adorn the walls. There's, you know, just live-in damage, some water damage through the ceiling. Um, but you can tell that somebody with not a lot of proficiency and skill had tried to repair a lot of this. Um, as you look in, you can see that the hearth um, more of a s- smaller stove uh, in in the base floor is uh, where you would consider the kitchen to be. Uh, amber coals start uh, as you open the door wider and a little bit of a wind gust comes in, you see them flare a little bit. Um, so there's somebody definitely living in the house. Mm. Um, you're not really getting a lot of heat off of it, and so it is drizzling outside as you've made your way down, so it feels nice to be out of the, the cooler rain as um, the, the sun is setting in the valley of Barovia. Uh, you're hearing the cries coming from upstairs. Are there any pictures on the wall or anything? <clears throat> Everything is very utilitarian in this house. 
Um, you can see on some of the, the wood walls and mud walls where <clears throat> it looks like a child's drawn on it. Um, you're not sure with what, but very small little simple drawings on, on different walls in the house. Probably poop and blood. Uh, Haggis is going to be like, it's probably more fucking kid ghosts, creepy bullshit. You guys want beers? I'm going to check the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and moves towards the kitchen. <laughs> but y'all take a beer, Dan. Okay. Did you check the Haggis. kitchen? Haggis. So, uh, you guys roll into uh, deeper into the house, uh, over to the other end of the room. Um, there's no... The pantry or anything like that. All you see is dried rice, uh, and and that's it. You, hmm. you got two bags, probably ten pounds worth of rice. That's not too. I found two beers also. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is there an up? There's an upstairs, right? There is, and that's where you were hearing the sobbing coming from. Yeah. Um, the staircase. Uh, move towards it. Um, yeah, so you, you walk over to it, you can see it's somewhat rickety. Um, <coughs> good news is, is the majority of your party doesn't weigh much. I think he's calling you fat. No, I was <laughs> yeah. still weighs more. <laughs> um, can I see up the stairs? St- is it like... Yeah, you can see it. It's a straight shot. <laughs> Don't see anything at the top stairs. Yeah, you can see a little bit of lighting at the sky, yeah. flickering uh, from up there. Okay, I'm gonna um, move up the stairs, staff in hand. Gar, is that you? And uh, you you hear the sobs continue, and as you walk up, this is kind of where they the the bedrooms would be, but it's like a common area uh, up on top. And you can see two very separate areas of the room. Obviously, one would be more of a parental uh, spot where they stayed. And there's uh, a torn and tattered curtain that is on a suspended rod that would then close off to give them their privacy to sleep. Hmm. Um, on the other end, there's uh, different types of you know, hand-created uh, combs and, and you know, very crappy brushes and, you know, very poor quality stuff, but things that are um, used that you would think like a, a teenage to young woman would would find importance with. And those are collected and laying there uh, on, on what you would assume to be her bed. Uh, in the, the middle of the floor lies the crumpled heap of, of a woman who is just sobbing and she's holding a, a misshapen doll uh, and is stroking its head and saying, Oh, my poor Gertruda! My <laughs> my Gertruda! Just to make sure, clearly not Kiara. Clearly not. Okay. <clears throat> well, we're all done here, boys. Let's get it moving. <laughs> Found the rice. Let's get out. <laughs> takes, the, takes the bag of rice, <laughs> drinking his beer, heads back down the stairs. Uh, so cautiously, um, traumatized by recent events, plus the fact that I no longer trust anyone, I look at the lady and, well, what's going on here? And uh, she says, oh, my poor girl, Truda, it's taken her, it's taken her. Last time we went to find things were taken, we ran into a trash monster. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go upstairs. I'll be right there with them. Oh, something took your Truda? And uh, she says, yes, I know a child. Oh, what was it? What? Tell, <laughs> tell me, what was it? She says, uh, all her life I have yes, yes, kept yes, yes, my yes, 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 locked what, up here. What took it? Oh, the devil. The devil of Barovia. Her beauty was a curse. Well, it's above my pay grade. I'm for sure <laughs> about that. This have never <laughs> seen far too many tricky things in this place. You're going to have to describe this monster better before we would even consider helping you. 
She says, there is, there is nothing a small child like you could do. My Gertruda has been taken. The devil has her. And you see her kind of look up to the top right corner of the room, uh, which would be in a northwesterly direction. So without without looking at where she's looking, I take a dart out of my pouch and throw it up in the corner. <laughs> okay, make an attack. Uh, 20. You throw it, and it sticks into the, the wall. <laughs> and I'm looking at her. What does she do? Uh, she's just very despondent and doesn't really notice you marring up her already marred house. It was, it was giving her a nail to hang a picture on <laughs> for later. <Sure>. Um, <clears throat> good save. Are there, any, are there any belongings in this room? It's it's just it. like the, the the main thing is is that she's she's petting this misshapen doll. Describe the doll. What do we see? So the doll, think of like a starfish. No. Except for the top of the head is actually somewhat of a human head shape, but it's like a doll like this. Okay. It's, where it's the huge, arms and though. legs are going out in in different directions. Um, do you you inspect it closer? <laughs> wait, wait. Do you have cinnamon rolls? Oh, yeah, I do. He's got wait, two. you went back for another one? <laughs> You're so great. <laughs> you are a sick, sick, sad little man. And you have my pity. <laughs> um... So the dolls. <laughs> Man, nothing. I just that was. No, do you guys want to look closer at the doll? I, I'm I'm still studying her. I, I will. Yeah, I will. So while she's having an interaction with them, uh, give me an investigation check. Investigation plus zero. Oh! <laughs> is that fire off, Dan? Dan, where's it at? No joke. No joke. Dan, you don't even fucking fire off anymore. No joke. I had my one sitting out there on the table for my thanks, previous thanks investigation failure. That, yeah. And I was trying to get it off the table before Dave rolled as though it were bad juju. And it hit before I could get mine, and the curse continues. Yep. Yep. So, um, you, you don't, like, learn anything outside of what's physically there, uh, which is... It's a sackcloth doll. <laughs> Desperation point. <laughs> um, it's a malformed doll with a very strange leer on it. It wears a sackcloth dress. So it's supposed to be a girl, you think. Um, but it like looks up at you a little bit creepily. Like it doesn't physically turn and look, but it's, yeah, as it has it's, a creepy as look it's there, it. it just has kind of this like really creepy look, and then a really big tag on it um, that says "Is no fun, is no blinsky." Very <laughs> serious, it says that. That's that's what is written on it. <laughs> is no fun. Is, is no, no fun. Is no blinsky. <laughs> blinsky. Have we heard the word I blinsky? I have no before? idea what that means. Uh, do we know blinsky? You do not. Hmm, what is this Plensky you have on the doll? This is so is curious. And so, uh, Mary's still sobbing, and she goes, Oh, 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 oh this is, this is, this is toy maker, Gadolf Plinsky. He makes toys for children mm, in Borovia. I imagine this he This was makes, her favorite possession. He makes good toys, yes? Oh, well, look at it, it's beautiful possession. Possessed. But this is no Plinsky. No, 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 <laughs> He says, if it's not any fun, then it didn't come from him. That's his branding slogan. Is no fun. It's no Blinsky. <laughs> mm. He lives in Valaki to the northwest. Oh, this is oh. Yes. Um, That's where the windmill was. Good, was Gertrude, it was. was your daughter? Is your daughter? Gertrude. Oh, my Gertrude. Trudy. Trudy. But your daughter? Yes. Okay. Uh, I want an insight check. Um, is she lying to us at all? Like, is there? Roll it. Okay. Uh, Sixteen. This woman is despondent and very clearly has taken precautions to make sure that her daughter could be raised safely inside this house. Mm -hmm. 
with how well lived in it is and everything like that, you can tell she probably never let her kid out, and the kid's no longer there. Where's Truda? My my girl Truda. She she snuck out while I was at market, and when I come back, my girl Truda is gone. How old is she? Uh, she is on her fourteenth summer. Hmm. Does she uh, does she like anywhere in town where she may go? But she could be. But I I've, I've been. <laughs> and then she just starts breaking down. Um, I'm going to move over to the the northwest corner um, where I threw my dart and pull it out. But as I'm pulling it out, I'm also studying to see what the hell she was looking at, really. Um, give me an insight check. Yep. Uh, 14. So you think it wasn't that she was pointing up into that corner so much as she was pointing in that direction geographically. Got it. I got my dart back then. Which direction was uh, it? North north northwest. West. Northwest of the room. Uh, of course. Yep. Of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's two, we now have two side quests that are taking us to the same location. <laughs> the, gi- the giant fucking house on the hill? That's where uh, she's pointing. Um, where's this market? Where's... When does the market open? Where is the market? And, uh... Mad Mary doesn't seem like she would be able to, to really talk about anything much other than Gertruda. Uh, she's pretty despondent. You guys did pass by two locations on the map, uh, noted as E1 and E2. Um, so, E1 is Bildrath's Mercantile. Uh, you saw that sign on creaky hinges swinging as you walk by. Oh, when we first E2 got uh, looks to be some kind of a tavern. Ah, oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, this burger's huge. Oh, you haven't, uh, you haven't cracked oh. the seal on that yet? I haven't been able to eat. Well, please. Run the world. Should we go to this uh, merchant and see if we can offload some of this gear? Got the weight of the world in your shoulders, Lee. We should leave. Yeah, well, and we he can does get these some terrible health, things to And we can get some health questions and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You should have heard Dave ordering that thing. That's fucking horrible. <laughs> I thought you got a video for a second. I'm pretty sure that's the biggest burger. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. I joked about recording it, but I just took pictures of Dave ordering it. 